I think people are under a lot of uh, misapprehension as to what is meant by universal suffrage in Hong Kong. If people would care to read Article 45 and Article 68 of the Basic Law, that universal suffrage in Hong Kong means universal suffrage under and within the framework of the one country, two systems and the Basic Law. You must therefore respect the constitutional setup and the constitutional order of the entire nation. That Hong Kong is not an independent state, but a city within China. And therefore, to try to advocate the kind of democracy which is, or which would stand as a denial of China's sovereignty over Hong Kong is simply not acceptable under one country, two systems. The fact that you have people carrying United States flags and, and United Kingdom flags uh, around and calling for liberation of Hong Kong, I can see that that could certainly appear to the central government that the whole movement or the whole demonstration is against China exercising full sovereignty over Hong Kong. Now, if that were to be the case, it certainly would damage any possibility that uh, we can uh, reach a consensus on political reform in Hong Kong. So, uh, the fact that people are carrying United States flags around and calling for the liberation of Hong Kong certainly would not help to push for democratic reform in Hong Kong. It, in fact, is doing so, a, 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 something which, you know, would deny people of the chance of achieving universal suffrage, uh, you know, in the near future. They're doing exactly the opposite.